This is the Fishman AFX Acoustiverb and Fishman kindly sent me this pedal to do a review on, so thank you Fishman. So obviously this is a mini reverb pedal, um, but what's different about this as opposed to my other reverb pedal videos is this is designed specifically for acoustic instruments. So it'll be really interesting to dive in and to see what the difference is between this one and the other reverb pedals that are primarily designed for electric guitars. So I'm now going to dive into this and put it through its paces and then I'll come back in a little bit and give you my thoughts. So I've been using this now as my main reverb for about two or three weeks. Um, been using on every live stream, every performance thing that I've been doing and really just been testing it out a lot. One of the things that really hit me straight away when I was using this is that it all sounds very natural. Very natural, very warm, very acoustic sounding. Even when I turn everything up full, I feel that it still doesn't sound unnatural it still sounds really nice and warm and natural and I feel it doesn't affect the original acoustic tone the other thing I like is that it's really simple and easy to use it has three reverbs spring hall and plate and spring reverb is when you actually send your signal through a physical spring and it, that's why it kind of sounds all springy because it's going through this actual physical metal coil. And hall reverb is meant to sound like when you're in a hall and that sound you get when you're in this big empty space. So it's generally quite a big sounding reverb, kind of think cathedral like sort of sound. Um, everything from like a small hall to a big cathedral. <laughs> Plate is when they actually send the signal through an actual physical plate. And this can sound very metallic sounding, but it can also sound, depending on the size of the plate, quite big as well. So let's have a look at the controls here. So we have the switch at the top, which allows us to switch between spring, hall, or plate. Uh, then we have level just here. So this is the, the level of the reverb. So how much reverb you want to be blended in with your original tone. Uh, this one, this big one here is decay. And this controls how long the tail of the reverb will continue on for. So all the way to the right on full, then it continues for a long time. And then all the way to the left, uh, you have very little or if none 
uh, no tail at all. Um, and then the last one here, this is by far, I feel the most important control for me. And I don't even look at a reverb unless it has this control. So this is the tone of the reverb. So do you want it to be very low, very dark sounding? Uh, or do you want it to be very bright and very have lots of high frequencies in the reverb there? And then obviously you have the on off switch, you have an in and an out. And at the back here, this is really cool, some controls. So if you have a pickup which has a stereo signal, um, so say the Fishman Rare Earth blend system, you know, has an internal microphone and it has a uh, sound hole pickup as well. And you can you can have that as a stereo signal. So two separate signals as a stereo jack. You can choose whether you want the tip of the jack or whether you want the ring of the jack to be affected by the reverb. And that's very cool because it's something that a lot of acoustic players would find very, very handy. So the other switch here is a buffer switch. So whether you want your signal to go through the electronics as a little buffer, or if you want it to be um, completely true bypass and not pass any of the electronics at all. But definitely my favorite thing about this is that everything sounds so natural. And to me, it's just perfect for acoustic instruments. Another thing I like is how small this is. This is a mini pedal and uh, Fishman have released a whole line of their AFX pedals and they're all mini pedals like this, you know, and I can imagine that you can just fit this on a nice little pedal board, something like this, and then you could fit, you know, a whole load of these mini pedals on here. Just really easy and handy to just stick on a small pedal board and off you go to your gig. I'm sure a lot of other acoustic players have been through this, you know, you have pedals, guitar pedals that are designed primarily for electric players, you know, and they have, you. of course you can use pedals with any instrument, it, it will work fine, and in most cases it will sound great, but I think they're designed specifically for electric players in mind. And sometimes I find with reverb pedals specifically, it's hard to get a natural sounding reverb, you know? Uh, and this is something that I look for a lot. It's just, I, 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 I find it, I, you know, I have a lot of really nice sounding reverb pedals, um, but, and they have all kinds of sounds, you know, you won't like on Strymon Blue Sky, you know, really, really nice reverb pedal. It's, uh, has, huge amount of, of different sounds on this. It's just unbelievable how many sounds you can get with this. Uh, really, really nice reverb pedal, but it is still quite hard to get a natural sound. You can get a natural sound with this, a natural sounding reverb, um, but it's, it's still, it's not that easy. Um, uh, but with this, it's just super easy, you know, you, you, it's super quick. You can just get everything, everything kind of just sounds natural and nice and acoustic sounding. Uh, so this is actually now going to replace, and this is going to be my main reverb pedal on my pedal board. So it's going to be my, my reverb that is my natural sounding acoustic reverb. Um, and then my other reverbs are going to be like for if I want something a bit more unnatural, a bit more extreme, a bit more kind of um, out there, I'm going to use other reverb pedals such as my, my uh, Strymon Blue Sky. So in conclusion, this is ideal for someone looking for a simple, easy to use, natural sounding reverb while still preserving the acoustic tone of your instrument.
So if you want to get your hands on one of these, then just click the link in the description down below. And Fishman have released a whole line of their AFX pedals, so you can check them out as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which reverb pedal you use with your acoustic guitar. Click on this video next to see my full pedal board walkthrough, and I'll see you over there. Bye.